Thanks, mate. Um, could I begin by acknowledging uh, the Dharawal people on where we meet today and paying my respects to their elders past and present as well as all Aboriginal people here today. Um, as I said, I'm Greg Warren, I'm the Labor candidate for Campbelltown, but most importantly, um, I have a wife and two sons. So, more prominently I'm here today because I care about the future of our waterways and our environment so that my children have the same opportunity to grow up in the same beautiful community that I've been able to um, over the years. The, um, those of you, few people know here about my strong, um, my strong stance on the, in the Camden uh, Northern Expansion. Some years ago I put in my own personal submission. Coal seam gas near our homes is not safe. Okay, no scientist, no politician, no bureaucrat, I don't care what they say. That is my own personal opinion, it is not safe. Um, I live in Mount Ennan, which you can throw a rock um, over into Campbelltown, which is the boundary of the electorate, but it's also very close to Spring Farm, that gas well that was, was in the news recently. There's no better example as to the effects as coal seam gas than to that what has gone on there, and disgracefully it continues to date. The, um, it was mentioned before about um, the Labor Party, um, you know, putting these things in and the licences and all these other characters and everything like that. Well, I can quite comfortably stand here today and tell you they were bloody wrong, okay? Um, my politics doesn't define everything about me. What defines me the most is the interests of our community. Why? Because I'm part of that community and my family. I know how important it is. I talk to people and I know how we want to bring our children up in a place that's safe and clean. And uh, Jess mentioned something before. Where are you, Jess? Yeah, you're down there. She, she's dead right. There are certain things that you need to have bipartisanship on. You know, when it comes to public safety, public health, all these kinds of things, where there's questions that are brought, then the two major parties, including the Greens, because if you go back a fair way, and I've been following this for a while, some of the Greens don't come to the issue with clean hands either. But by and large, they've certainly been great defenders and taking up the fight to their credit. Um, but the reality is, must, all, everyone must come together and say, look, we've got an issue here, the water's uh, going away, it's unsafe, there's chemicals, we have to make an interest. And then that's something my plight. And if I get into the parliament, I'll be saying that in the Labor caucus as well, and I'll say to any politician who's willing to listen. Um, why? Because it just simply matters. The other point um, I'd like to bring up is the sale of Sydney water. And I guess it, it's further to what um, Alan was saying before. There's one thing that concerns me, and, and as you know, I've never been in, in the parliament um, whilst I aspire to be there. It's how, at times, the bureaucracy can control government. Yes, they make advice. Yes, they can say all these different kinds of things. But at the end of the day, it is the government that's responsible. So these bureaucrats themselves need to be taken to task to validate their position and substantiate why they can make a recommendation. And quite simply, if the government or any politician or any political party doesn't agree, say, sorry, mate, you're wrong. Go and have a look at it again and then come back with the facts because I've got these facts. And it is a matter of politicians, and that includes me, to, to stand up, do your research and find uh, the real answers. But what must never change is the fundamental motivation of our public representatives must be motivated by those that we're privileged to represent. Not because they want to keep their jobs, but because their health and safety matters. I mean, I'm not a scientist and I'm not a professional. You know, I've been talking to Michael this week and I explained to him there's so much more I want to learn about long wall mining and things like that. Uh, can I stand here and make you um, promises? I could, but it wouldn't be right. But what I do promise is I'll do everything I can to learn as much as I can in the interest of your safety. And I'll take that into the parliament and I'll take the task, even my own colleagues, I'll take the task any politician, because this matters, which I refer you to my first point, I have a wife and two boys, and beyond all, that's what matters to me most, is my family, and I know that's what matters to all of us here today, as well as protecting our environment. I, um, I just want to thank all the organisers, and Julie, we've had other discussions before, down around um, our Camden, the platypuses and things like that, and koalas and a whole heap of other different things. So I know the passion that surrounds these uh, issues, and so it should. Um, there's people here that would probably in the past been of all types of varying politi political persuasions, 
but it's redundant and irrelevant when it comes to the issue of public health and safety. So I thank you all for the organisers for organising today, and I thank you for having me here and taking the time to listen to me. I am. Um, I'm going to hang around for a bit after, but I've got to get going. I've got another function on this afternoon, but I'll stay as long as I can, so please say good day. Cheers.